Hello and welcome to Casual Friday. We are playing some Magic Arena because the new Dominary United just released on like Thursday, I think it was. Uh, I played one draft so far and did badly, and now I want to play another draft, so we're going to do that. Um, obviously, usually Casual Friday is hosted by Daisy Bits. Today it is just me, Darcy. So there's that. I'm sure we'll get back to Black Book eventually, but I really wanted to play some some draft on stream. I've been doing MTG content anyway. Figure the crossover might make sense. So let's get started. A uh, few things about you first, now that I say that out loud. I am going into a timed draft, which against real people. So I am not going to be giving my full thoughts on every card I look at. I tend to do things very slowly and look at a card and go, mmm, ah, interesting. Uh, and I can't do that right now. It's go, 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 which means uh, I will not be talking much or interacting with chat much. So fair warning. After the draft is complete, I'm sure I'll talk about the cards I did draft and my ideas for deck building, but we will get there when we get there. Without further ado, here's 10,000 gold. Mm. All right, ready. Ding, 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 ding. All right, I don't like this view for this. Um, I basically always will take my rare drafts because uh, they're rare. What the heck is Terra Sunder? Uh, this one looks cool, actually. I could definitely see myself playing that. So I think I'm fine with this. I'm not going to feel bummed. Sometimes you rare draft and you go like, dang, I wish I hadn't done that. This time, no, I'm into, I'm into phasing the battle fear. Basically, I'm hoping to go for sort of obscure colors. Um, I legit don't remember what that actually is. Maybe Esper? I don't know. I don't play... Uh, other things. So I don't know this card. Linebreaker Baylock. It can enlist. It's a 5 mana 4 5. It can't be blocked. Okay, that's pretty cool. Baird is interesting. I don't really think I want to play like red white. Um, the rest of these are really low value, I think. What the heck is Flowstone and Fusion? Plus 2, minus 2. Yeah. I guess it's good because you can actually kill something with it. That's pretty cool. Do I, do I Am I going into red? Ew. I mean, the odds are that I'm not going to be seeing much of red in the future. But none of these are super speaking to me, so I think I will go for the bear. Even if just for my collection. Okay, you know what? I thought I was running out of time, but turns out I actually am waiting. That's surprising. Uh, so, yeah, Baird, I mean, I'm just not a big fan of Boros, but I do have some, like, red-white cards in my collection, so it'd be nice to have a copy just to build around later on my own. Okay, we're back. Uh, ooh, what's this? Urza Assembles the Titans is a white... It is rare, but it also got ignored twice, so... Scry 4, reveal a top card library if it's a Planeswalker, put it into your hand. Or, you may put a Planeswalker... Or you may activate the blitz. So it's planeswalker specific. Am I gonna are there planeswalkers in this set? I guess a couple. I'd actually love to go Elis Kilcore. Let's see if we can go make um clerics work. I would love to see if I can go clerics. Clerics would be great. Part of me really wishes I picked up that rare. Uh just because I don't have many rares in my collection. I like I like to have rares in my collection if I can. Uh, for the fun of it. But, yeah, I don't really think that's going to be relevant in a draft setting. Mesa Cavillier. Um, I keep seeing these shield wall sentinels, and it's like, ah, I really want to do it. I really want to go into that. What is this again? Four mana, three, six. Cruise for only one. When it attacks, you get to flicker. That's fun. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under control? Okay. Maybe that will work, actually. Let's go. That sounds fun. Forget Negotiators. Garna Blood for stuff Keld. What do you do? Dies? Okay. Tillery Blast. I need to definitely make sure I'm picking up, like, either flyers or things that do damage. Like, or kill people. Not necessarily do damage. Um, broken Wings. So I think I'm going common here. So what's my best common? I do like defenders, but I don't think I'm going defenders. Maybe I am. Just the fact that it's a flyer is such a high value. I think I take it. 
I have not uh, decided on colors yet, but I'm sort of, you know, again, trying to do blue, white, and black if possible. And then we'll decide from there further later. Domain for five, draw a car, but it costs less. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Negate, timely interference. I don't know what that does. Hex Bane oh, Tortoise. Cool. Tap creatures? Yeah, I think that's the one. Minus one, minus O, and draws. Yeah, no, this is the one. Okay, another white. Airtight Scorn counters a spell. Interesting. Artillery Blast, Essence Scatter, another counter spell. Impulse, four cards of your library, put them into your hand. I do love Shadow Prophecy. I have no black yet, really. I do have Ilkor, but don't know if I expect that to come up. It has to be a tapped creature. Ooh, I like Battlefire. This is also a Cleric. Oh, cool. Not that I have Cleric Tribal, but it would be fun if I can get Cleric Tribal. <laughs> Mill three. Flyers. Flyers are too important. Just get, a, get the flyer. Terra Sunder. Exile target artifact or enchantment. But if you kick it, you can do anything. Ooh, I don't think I'm going to go green, though. Don't see green happening. Yeah, it is a shade. I saw this last time. I was like, it's not a spirit. It's a shade. I forgot that was a creature type. Another stall for time is good. Some red here. Guys might... Target creature gets plus one, plus one. This has been messing me up, so I think I'm going to take a copy. Yeah, no defenders for us. It's a shame. Oh, cool. I got a second chance at that Urza's. That's rad. Describe tab. What did you do? I didn't read you. One, one in tap. Sacrifice it. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Put a land from them onto your hand. The rest in the bottom of your library at a random order. Uh, do I? How many of these do I have? Dang it. I don't know what I just got. Aggressive Sabotage. Kicker of Red. Dang it, I didn't want that one. I wanted the goblin. Well, that sucks. <laughs> I did not like that. Uh, Leaf Crowned Visionary. Two. Elf Lord. I don't care. Whenever you cast an elf spell, you may pay if you do draw a card. I don't care about that. Storm Runner. This one seems really cool. I'm just not a huge fan of Is It. Scribe Tablet. Tillery Blast. Battlefly Swarm. I feel like I cannot justify getting these like low rarity things, but honestly... Would be nice. Oh, you're the white defender tribal. I'm not going defender tribal, but like... Okay, wait. I'm not actually going red, but... Uh, it's probably pretty good. Uh, the Drake. The Drake's probably the real one. I know I'm not going defender tribal. I mean, I could. It's pack two. I could switch. I could pivot into defender tribal. I love Defender Tribal. It's so cool. Uh, Urg, Spawn of Turg. That's a Defender. That's a Defender. Is there anything that's, like, necessary here? A Flyer is good, but I can't kick it. And eh, kicking just makes it bigger, though. I don't think that's a big deal. Do I want a 1-1 Flyer? I think you do. I think a 1-1 Flyer is just really valuable. I really wish they had printed a... Flying Defender in this set. Huge disappointment that they didn't. Moss Beard Ancient. I don't know this card. Cool. It's a big thing. Academy Wall, Death Loom. Okay, anything I really want. I think we're going Defender Tribal. This thing's probably going to win games. I think I'm going to just keep taking the uh, like pseudo removal because it's the best I've got. That guy's cool. Uh, P Momentum, Impulse, Aggressive Sabotage. Or two cards. Interesting. I am not sure where I'm going at this point. I am... I am a mess. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, I don't think I'm going red. I, I, I'm going the colors that I want to be going, but I'm not really sure what the, the build is. 
Last time I drafted, I learned that there's this big theme of, ooh, hello, I might take you, just because. Anything else here that I need? I wouldn't say I need it. Uh, the Soaring Drake, I think, would win games, honestly. I've lost that Soaring Drake a lot. Um, but I learned that there was this very strong, like, theme of instances of sorceries in your graveyard. Which is pretty cool. How many instant sorceries? So, like, I, I just, like, have not drafted many of those. So, I think I need to get more instants and sorceries. Um, I don't know if I have the cards that pay off from that or not. But, like, pff, they seem important. Okay. Ooh, this card's so good. I played it last time. I really liked it. Is there anything else that I, like, need more? Because it's, it's just for my collection. It's literally just because I like it. I'm not going green. <laughs> I think about draft as kind of like shopping. Pick up the cards you like. If you can get some wins, even better. <laughs> uh, maybe that's a bad policy, but mm, that's what I'm here for. So funny. Ah, uh, okay. Ooh, hello. Do I care about you? I do think you have a cool ability. I don't think you're super relevant right now. I do really want a walking bulwark. Yes. Uh, don't care, don't care. I think artillery blast is actually what I need here. It's still main based, right? I should probably do that. Um, you know what? I wasn't going to pick you up the first time, but you're back. Sounds good to me. I think Toxic Bomb Nation is pretty good. I dropped like four of them last time I played though, so I don't need them for my collection, and I don't think they're super relevant to my current build. I think I'm probably not even going black this time. Uh-huh, I want this. What do you do? You have enlist. Okay. I'm gonna get absolutely destroyed by flyers once again. Ah, ain't that always the way. Another fancy oh, hello. Yeah, perfect. What do you do again? I don't know. I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the one one flyer. Oh, and a splatter goblin. Nice. Very good. Cool. I'm into that. Jaya. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh, Aaron's really cool too, huh? Sack of creature. Okay. Anything else here that's like rad? No. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. I didn't see that coming. Um, I actually have assembled the Titans. That is wild. Ah, oh, there's so many of these cards I actually really want. Like, I really, really want. Like, I, I can't not take a Zer. Zer's a mythic rare. Hello. Um, also, they're a flyer, I think, right? Yeah, that's just good. Honestly, I, I would take a 1-3 flyer anyway if there wasn't something else that I was competing for that slot. So hopefully some of that stuff will come back to me. I do really want to go Defender Tribal if I can, but I, I don't see it happening. I'm going to try, but I don't think I don't see it happening. Um, I only have a few things that care about Defenders right now. I don't have any of the really cool ones. There was a Coral... The reason I'm mentioning this is because there was a Coral um, wall. I don't know what it's called. Um, Cruelty of Gix. That's cool. I like that spell. Slime foot survey, don't care. I need these things I like need. I should take this. I should. I really should take that. Um Cleaving Skyrider. What's it have cleave? Remember how they added the cleave? Cleave was a remember cleave? None of these are super interesting to me. I think what are my numbers? Interesting. I am like into these. I don't think I'm. Maybe I will be going red or black. I don't even. I have no idea. Fiashino Warlock. Did I turn you down earlier? I don't remember picking you up. Dang. That's an interesting choice. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. Kicker, Scry, Griffin Protect. I, I need to go faster. What does this do? Creatures get bonuses. Writhing Necromancer is cool. Uh. Did anything have flying? Death Touch. Yeah, sure. I, I'll just take the rare draft. I don't know. Uh, Acolyte. Kicked. 
Battlefield. Momentum, Aberration. Do you fly? You do. Honestly, just being a flyer is probably enough. I really like Frost Rider Strider, but I have not picked one up yet. Protect the Negotiators, Artillery Blast, Cat Academy Wall, Urbarg. I don't have any like really good payoffs for um for it yet though, and I already have four of them. This is a kill spell. Ish. It's a kill spell ish. Although honestly, broken wings, I'm not going green. Um join forces. Untapped creatures, nah. Jonas Codex. Right, I remember you. I need to pick something. Probably that one. Just because it has flying. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, they're piling up. What's this? Draw two cards. Uh. Oh, I wanted that card. Sweet. Nice. <gasps> Coral Colony came back to me! <gasps> Thank you, Coral Colony. I can't get both of these, unfortunately, but that's okay. Yes. Yes! It's all coming together. You know what you probably should take? You should probably take the, uh, the, the Firestorm. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Fire Nado, whatever it's called. Heroic Charge, Shadow Prophecy, I don't know. What's this do? Plus two, plus one to one turn. All creatures? That's actually rad. <laughs> I did not realize how good that is. Joint Exploration, Juniper Order Root Weaver. I don't even know which of those I picked up. I have actually no clue. Alrighty then. Uh, that's interesting. You should end up drafting 58 cards. How's that add up? How many is in each pack if you're getting 58 cards? All right. I mean, a, a third of that, right? Let's switch our views because I like this one when I'm deck building, but I like the other one when I'm drafting. How many defenders do we have? I don't think I actually have enough for Defender Tribal. That's not terrible, but it's not good either. So, eh, I, I'll probably put the package in just because I like it, but it's not happening. It's, that's just like getting pieces for my pet deck that I will definitely play later. Uh, spells that I don't think I need. So first of all, do I have enough red here that I could actually justify running it? Baird, uh, beginning of your end step, if you control a creature with power greater than its base power, create a token. Put counters on this, you can play artifacts. Combination of colors, spend this mana to cast dragon creatures. Oh, I don't think I have any dragon creatures. Uh, okay, so we're cutting all of our red. There was like a weird red one that I was like, ooh. It was Jaya, Jaya's who it was. <laughs> That'd be so funny eventually. I mean, I could run Jaya and then cheat her out. Oh, you should. That's very funny, you should do it. Okay, unless I need to cut them for space, I'm gonna do that, because it's really funny to me. Oh, I don't need a forest. Yeah, I'm not actually running bone face. Uh, that's 50, 16. I need like an extra island or something. Okay, great. Okay, so am I going to run three colors? It's a good question. First things first, where is Urza assembles the titans? There we are. I mean, I just think that's funny. So I'm going to do it because it could. It, it's put a planeswalker card. Under the battlefield, so I don't need to have red man in this deck. <laughs> Is it any good? I don't even know if this card's good. I just think it's funny. All right. So, main themes of the deck. First and foremost, how many uh, sorceries and instants we have? Okay, I got a decent number by the end of that. Eight and three. Cool. So things that care about, uh, like an instant. Let's say Oracle instant. I assume it has the same, yeah. So you care about instants in my graveyard. You pull instants out of my graveyard. You care about when I cast an instant. And you, what do you do? Get an emblem with whenever you cast a red instant or sorcery. Well, I won't be doing that, will I? Uh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's funny. All right, um, hmm, 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 
I was thinking, so Illus Ilkor, let's talk about you. Sadistic Pilgrim. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may gain one life, or you do gain one life. Whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Cool. So, token stuff. This lets me target opponent with their hands, search library for a card, put a card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Cool. Golden Argusi. Is Argusi any good? Maybe. You got like a bunch of like... I guess this can't do anything with it. What does this do? There's some cards that ended up in my draft that I have no idea what they did. Because it was going too fast at the end. For two mana and tapping this. That's playing it and tapping it. Uh, you can sack it to reveal five cards. Put a land into your hand. The rest on the bottom in a random order. If you didn't put a card into your hand, you, also, you can draw a card. So, two mana. Two mana, but you can pay it over turn one and then turn two to put a land into your hand. That's, like, useful, especially if you need to do multiple colors. Okay. Okay. Battlefly Swarm. Shore up. Yeah. Blast cares about domain. Oh, yeah, let's look at our domain things. How much domain do we care about? That's the only one that cares about domain. Wow, okay. So I'm not really worried about domain. I'm not running green. Is this useful if not kicked? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's what I should check first. Anything that's not useful when kicked. Or not useful if not kicked, I mean. Because that will let us really narrow things down. Two mana, two, one... When it dies, I think that's not good enough. It's remaining. This I can kick, so it's not relevant. Um, okay. Stall for time. I can kick this as well. Cool. Good. That I can kick. That I can't kick. Aggressive sabotage, three mana. Target player discards two cards. And deals three damage to that player. Let's cut that. This guy, I don't know if they're good enough. I put them in because I might get clerics. That's what I was hoping for, but I'm not expecting it. Three mana, three one. It's not terrible because a lot of times people just are afraid to attack into you, even though, like, yeah, it's probably worth having. Aaron, what do you do? You are two white pips. That could be annoying. Three mana menace for two and tap. Sack a creature. Put a one one counter on each creature you control. Hmm. That's cool. I like that. Uh, Zer, are you relevant, Zer? Hey, I can fly. That's a good point. Uh, flying enchantment creatures you control have death touch. Okay. I don't know if I have any enchantments that are relevant. I have two. I, I have three sagas. So I guess, except for they're gonna go away. <laughs> so like making them into like, 4-4s four and 5-5s five is probably not worth my time. Uh, maybe. I think it's still just good enough to run a 3-mana 1-4 flyer in this meta. Like, it's just, you're gonna die from flyers and it sucks, so you gotta have them. Wing Mantle Champion, this is a big th deal. Like, again, I didn't get enough for real Defender Tribal, but I think this is one of the best Defender Tribal payoff cards, especially considering I have so much stuff that cares about, like, going wide. Heroic Charge, for example. Uh, if this was kicked, those creatures gain Trample. Still, like, 4 mana give plus 2, plus 1 to everything? I think it's probably not going to work. I just don't think I'm going to be able to get a wide enough board. And if I do, that'd be fun. Lookout, you can fly. Uh, phasing of Zalafir. How do you work again? A target non-land permanent phases out. It can't phase in for as long as you control the phasing of Zalafir. Zal Zalafir. Then, lastly, destroy all creatures for each creature destroyed this way. So, I mean, sweet. I'm definitely running that. I would like a board wipe, please. Tattered Apparition. Uh, that is a 4 mana 2-2. Two, two. It has flying. 
So, so far, I'm happy with basically all the cards that I have, which means I need to cut eight cards that I'm happy with. I could cut the entire Defender package. I don't really want to. Hmm. How do I make a decision here? Let's look at my distribution. Actually, looks pretty good, surprisingly. Creature 16, a bunch of instant sorceries. I got a few artifacts. A wall, a vehicle, a golem. And I guess some others too. Uh, the pure artifacts, yeah. Enchantments, Planeswalker. Okay, okay. Color distribution. 10, 12, 10. Oh wow, we're actually pretty evenly split. That's amazing. Sometimes you're just like, cut a color. And I could cut a color, right? Actually, that's a good question. If I was going to cut a color, what would it be? Because I've got blue and black. I've got white and black. I've got all of them. If I was cutting colors, I'd be cutting this one. And I'd be... I don't know. Could I do without these? That's some flyers. That's a guy. That's a coral colony. That's an impede momentum. Kind of a wall espionage what do you do three mana draw two cards five mana each opponent discards a card i'm gonna miss that card i'm sure i hate counter spells and i usually don't run them out of principle but i have not been getting enough removal so i'm gonna have to go with preemptive removal i guess honestly i i is as good as this card probably is I I have a feeling I'm just never going to play it, and I'm going to be, yeah. That was probably a mistake. Are you going to be able to get enough Dominion for this? Yeah, I got three colors. Just jam, you put a charger. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Tablet's probably going to be very important just to be able to get my colors out, so I'm okay with that. Defender. Aces might not be amazing. I like it. What do you do again? One mana 03. Okay. Uh, for three and tap, you can tap a creature. That doesn't seem super good. That doesn't seem super good, but I need every defender I can. You are not great. Cut you. You are flying. Honestly, I'm probably just going to say hi. I have 45 cards because I'm bad. And uh, just uh, have to be happy with that. You know what you could do? What? Uh, you could do the first game and see how it feels. Hey! Alright. What's the name of this deck? This deck is... Um, honestly, it's a mishmash. It's very much a mishmash. But it's like kind of a go wide deck. Go wide, kill them all. Um, all right, that's our deck. Go wide and go boom. Uh, and they have the perfect symbol for our deck. This is our boom. Uh, yeah, right, it says that it's, uh, red. It's not actually. It's got Jaya in it because I'm stupid. <laughs> really, I should cut Jaya and, um, the Urza spell? That's what I should do. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut it on game two if I do terribly. All right, let's go. Okay, we are moving into game one of this draft. I have drafted a Obscura style deck. I know I'm the noob. I'm like young blood in this game, so I call them after the Capenna factions. I don't know the the ones that people used to use. Um, I have only two lands, and I don't have a black source, so I can't even play this. This will do two damage to a tapped creature. That could make let me survive. I should probably not keep this land, this hand. But um, I refuse to mulligan because I hate having six cards. So, welcome to my bad decisions.
opponent. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's really funny to me. Did I win? Did did I did I win? Hello? Did I win? Oh, okay. Hey! Oh, well, we got a third land at least, but that is not enough to do anything, unfortunately. Because I need a black mana source. A swamp, if you will. Oh, hello. Thank you. Hey! There's our swamp. Uh, dang. I really wish I hadn't played a planes on turn one. That was a misplay. Dang it. Oops. Wow. Just punting at the gate, huh? I did not... Yeah, okay. I mean, I can artillery blast something, but what are the odds that they're going to actually, like, <laughs> have a tapped creature if they haven't played one yet? They play something and they immediately tap it despite it being a creature. Nah. Alright, we got our three colors down. We are going to... Get Vohar on the field. Let's go. Love to see Vohar. Oh, look at the top four cards. Put one of them into your hand, the rest on the bottom. Very good. You traded this card for a different card in your deck. But you are charging up those, uh, as we said before, non, like, like not non-creature. Sorcery and instance in your graveyard has synergy in this set, especially if they're an is it probably so Would not be surprised if that ends up being very very strong for them The Urza assembles a titan can't let me pull a planeswalker from my graveyard can it because if it could I would ditch Jaya immediately, but I think it has to go from hand so But no, I'm, I still, I still really want to like play the the saga and do the thing. So I'm gonna try, even if I probably shouldn't. I too have a lookout. Kaka. No attacks. And turn. So what's lookout actually do? Four mana, human pirate. They're a flying three two. When Talos Lookout dies, put the top two cards in your library. Oh, look at the top two cards in your library. Put one of them into your hand, the other into your graveyard. Yeah. So I feel if, if they've built their deck, like, optimally, they probably are doing some, like, instant sorceries in the graveyard stuff. You may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Whenever they attack, you may pay two. And if you do, when you cast your next instant or sorcery this turn, you can copy it. Very nice. Fast two attacks. I think they might attack with their Talus Lookout. So what's Stall for Time do again? Tap, creatures. If it was kicked, put a stun counter on each of those creatures. Nice. Uh, we will tap Vohar to... Hoo hoo hoo. Very nice. Um, if it was an instant sorcery, I get a benefit, huh? Ooh, I really shouldn't ditch my planes this early in the game. Especially with multiple spells that care about planes. That was... I definitely should have got rid of the swamp. That was a mistake. Uh, can I kick this? I can kick it. I guess I should wait until their turn though, right? Unless I'm planning on getting an attack through. And I'm not really hoping for that. So I think I will go next to combat. I will say no attacks. Uh, this guy could be a problem. But, oh well. We will end my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Yeah, we will do this. We will end the turn. Actually, I changed my mind. I will wait until, um, until they move two attacks. I think there's a phase there. I'm bad at figuring out the phases. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna kick it. These two are gonna get tapped down. I also get to draw a card. Woohoo!
Okay. Oh, they can hexproof. Okay. I was like, what's the point? But yeah, they gain hexproof. Interesting. Does the whole spell fizzle? No, it's up to two. No. Okay. Okay, that's a big deal. I'm not super happy about that. I can blast this one now, which is cool. This blast does four damage? Yeah. So not enough that I can do much with it. Resolve. Uh, since the hexproof lasts till the end of the turn, I can't actually, um... I can't mark damage on it and then kill it after combat. That's disappointing. Did they pay for it? I guess they must have. They only have two spell. Okay. Lightning strike! Okay. They are targeting? Okay, I will tap this in response then. Um, stall for time. I could definitely use a stall for time. This can't kill anything right now. It will be able to kill soon, right? This is a temporary buff of damage. Yeah, okay, so I can just knock that out later. Um, Jaya, the dream is not dead. We'll get to you another time. And you'll strike the other one. Yeah. Disappointing. Uh, ooh, what do you do? Put one of them in your hand. Oh, wow. Straight into my hand? That's amazing. Whew. Okay. How do we want to do this? So first and foremost, I'm currently doing four damage with Artillery Blast. X is three plus one. So that's great. All I need to do is save two mana for that. It leaves me with three mana left. But I can't spend any white mana. I really shouldn't have ditched that one. I could play the Golden Argosy, but it's not super useful, is it? Sure hope I did my math right. Okay, good. That guy's dead. Their turn. That guy's still tapped down. That gives me time to stabilize my board and or stall for time. Yeah, no, this is good. This is fine and good. I just really wish I hadn't uh, discarded a planes earlier. I should have discarded a swamp because I have mostly a white hand. So that's disappointing on my part, but that's all. Oh yeah, I can crew my um, my golden Argosy if I want to. Exile each creature that crewed this, return them to the battlefield tapped. So that's fun. Interesting. They just did nothing on their turn. Okay. What's my best play here? I think my best play is to play the Illusionist. So the Wingman or Champlain, Chaplain, I think it will enter when they enter the battlefield, create a 1-1 one, one for each creature with Defender, which would include themselves. So that would be one. So I could just tap that one immediately. Um, but that thing would be a token, so it would get flickered, which is not super useful. Yeah. So then I can save something like this to tap somebody down. I think that's the best play. Although, this guy would be great. This is whenever it leaves the battlefield, too. Yeah, let's play Illus Core. And uh, does this fly? It does not fly. Okay. I will play you. Not kicked. I don't even have green mana. Yep, that's ETB. We will move to combat. Next two attackers. Uh, no, do I have to do, I have to do this? Sorry. I forgot I had to... Whew, I almost messed that up. Submit all of them. I will then attack with a 3-6. That will cause them to get exiled. And then they come back. So I don't get the ETB for or the, the like whenever a creature dies trigger, but I do get the whenever they return like enter the battlefield trigger. I think. I believe that just happened. So that's kind of cool. 
I don't know if that's good enough, but it's interesting. Should help me stabilize, especially going up against this 3-2. But I got, I'll, I'll be able to start getting, um... Oh, hello, that's not good. Did you kick it? I'm not super happy about that. Well... Crap. Dang it, that's not great for me. Okay. Again, my limited planes is really hurting me. Ooh, hello. You will do minus four, minus four. And it's until you leave, right? Let's just do that. Let's just start there. Not worry about it so much. I will kick it. Knock you out. That's minus four. You have one blue. Did I just mess up? Are you going to shore up? No, okay. They do get the one for the dying. But then... Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> weird. Uh, we will move to combat. I will do the trick again. Crewing my golden Argosi. Golden Ghost will attack. My Pixie will leave the battlefield. Okay. What do they have that's one mana? Like, Shore Up's one mana, but they would have used it last time, I think. So they don't have that. After combat, Pixie Illusionist comes back. That heals me one, I believe. So I'm getting, like, a, a, a full swing value of four every turn, which is better than they can do with their lookout. So, very weird, janky solution, but it is working. Impulse, look at cards, draw one. Cool. Lightning Strike kills my Ellis Gilcor. We don't like that. That's fine. That comes through. Hits me for three. Okay. They're ahead on life, but I think my hand is probably going to outvalue them. If I can get some planes. I need at least one more plane. Not because of Aaron, although I would love that, uh, but because I just want to be able to play more than one spell in a turn. I knew Aaron was going to be trouble. Another swamp. Okay. Uh, I think I might keep that in my hand, actually. So stall for time will let me tap them down later, which I'll probably want to do. But I have only one planes. I think I'm actually better off playing my wing champlain, wing mantle chaplain, uh, who is a human cleric. They have cool wings, but they're not an angel. That should give me one. Very good. And um, then I can just double block their flyer next turn, which I think is the right play here. Interestingly enough, if I actually crew with this guy and then submit zero, no, it won't let me do that. Okay. I have to do at least one. But that will work, actually. Never mind. Let's do this. So I just do this. We crew with my Wing Mandel Chaplain and the Pixie Illusionist. Which means the Wing Mantle Chaplain will re-enter the battlefield and I'll get an extra 1-1. One, one, which means I will have two flyers, which is enough to block their, their luck out. Yeah, this is actually perfect. This is a cool, cool um, combo here. Gold Nargosi. Yeah, good pickup. I do wish I had more of like a Defender Tribal theme, but still, very strong. Next to damage. That hits for three. Okay, comes back to me. I will play the Swamp, because I guess I might as well at this point. Uh, we'll end my turn. These two will come back from Exile. That'll give me another bird. There we go. Yeah, let's do it! Mmm. Mmm. 
I really like this deck. <laughs> this deck's really stupid. <laughs> what you gonna do? <laughs> Return this to its owner's hand and draw a card. Alright. Oh, I see. You you don't have the kicker. Like I don't have green kicker. Cool. Another lookout. Ooh, okay. So they can attack me for three. Next turn I should try and make sure I stall for time, probably. I'll take the three for now though, that's fine. Mmm. Where do I kill the uh the bird? I think I'll take it. No blocks. Take three. That's fine. I can get it on to seven. My turn. Okay. Clockwork Drawbridge is another defender that I can bounce my wing mantle. That Again, I really think I need that stall for time, but that's going to be ETB, get a 1-1 one, one flyer, then bounce, get two more. Like it's it's just better. It's just better. As stupid as this is, this is better. This gives me a 1-1 one, one flyer. We will then crew with, with these two. For some reason. <laughs> I don't think crewing with the Clockwork Drawbridge is relevant because... Um, I do get one for it entering the battlefield, but I don't think I'm getting any more. It's not like it's going to see the Clockwork Drawbridge as being in the battlefield and entering the battlefield at the same time or anything. So, go to blocks. Do you want to block my... I did not mean to attack with the 1-1 one, one in the air. That was a mistake. Luckily, they didn't block it. So, yeah. <laughs> that was a mistake. Oh, no. I just hit attack with all. I didn't consider. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Whenever you cast an instant sorcery, put a woman counter on. Okay. I think, I, I think that's fine. Uh, ETB, if it was kicked, discard your hand, then draw two. Cool! That's fun. Discard one card, then draw two? Yeah, I love it. Is this thing a flyer? 2-1 flyer. Okay, that's gonna be an issue. Yeah, I just... Luckily, I have this bird army, but... It is... It is... Not reliable. <laughs> this is bird army. Yeah, I will go to blockers, I will block one of them. I meant to be able to kill both, but I accidentally attacked with my bird. Uh, do I take the three, or do I let it die? I'll have more birds next time. Yeah, I think I'll let it die. Okay, fast two attacks. Great. That guy dies, you get to like pull a card, which could be really good for you, so. You're probably okay with those dying. I, I, give me a planes. I just need a second planes. That's all I need. Okay, I have this now. That's going to be very strong. Um, they have some okay stuff. It does suck that I have to tap out my um, my illusionist every time because I would like to actually have that available, but. What you gonna do? It's crew one, not crew zero. So let's uh, let's do the thing. Uh, no, don't do that. Although I can make a planes, which I had not realized. Wait a minute, <laughs> is that good? Oh, maybe I should be doing that. I'm not gonna, but I think maybe that would have actually been the right call. I've had that the whole time, and I just didn't think about it. All right, next to combat. Next two attackers. I will attack with just this one this time. <laughs> Although, hmm. One attack. Those get exiled. Next to blocks. No blocks. Go to damage. Through to face. Beautiful. Um, sure, I'll play a swamp. End my turn. Oh yeah, I can tap things down with this. I forgot I could do that. That's cool. So we can kind of block a flyer in a weird way. It's kind of fun. But I can actually block all their flyers favorably. 
Although they have cards in hand, and they are a spell slinger deck, so it's very possible they have some combat tricks that are going to mess me up. So maybe I shouldn't let them do that. Maybe I should tap down their 3-2. I think I will. I think I actually will tap down their 3-2. Uh, Clockwork Drawbridge, spend 3 to tap something down. I should have mentioned that. Although, actually, I also have Stall for Time, which I kind of wanted to use, so... Eh. I could do either. I could do... Can I do both? I can't do both. I have too much white mana reliance in this deck. Or at least in this hand. I don't know. I feel like another... I feel like my distribution of those colors is actually pretty even. Currently, I got some attack. If I want to block, tap them down, I have to do it now. Yeah, let's do it. Kick, and I will tap down. Uh, I guess, I guess the this one. This one might. I don't know, they might have like a weird like explosive chain that they're gonna scare me with or something. Ooh, another defender. Sweet. Yeah, wing mental chaplain is really fun. I like that a lot. It also doesn't have any like upkeep. So like the other payoffs are the coral colony and the. Like defile pile, I don't remember what it's called. It's it's not called that. Um, ooh, that's a funky land. Anyway, rar, it's Academy Wall. <laughs> that's fun. Do I have enough attackers here? One, two, three, four. No, I only have four attackers, so I can't actually get through. Watch it. No, wait, I can. I can just tap. I, I have lethal. I have lethal and I didn't notice it. I mean, they're untapped and they have three cards in hand. It's entirely possible that I don't have lethal here, but... But also... I probably have lethal here. I think I think I should have just attacked. Yeah, I should have just attacked. This is silly of me. Golden Argosy is an interesting card. Like, what's the flavor here, right? Um, like, it's interesting how if you crew it with a token the token goes away forever but otherwise they get to like leave and come back i guess is sort of the idea interesting uh yeah i kind of hadn't realized how that would work but i will definitely do this again submit these that's great next to combat next to attacks all attacks four attacks go uh and then i will play this to tap this down and that should be lethal yeah, sorry, I didn't realize, I didn't realize, I didn't, I didn't mean to BM you, I didn't realize I had lethal. Go easy on me. Was that my first game, or was that the second one? That was a really good game, like, nice back and forth. Cool. Nice. Nice! That was fun, I liked that deck. Uh, it was really cool seeing the Defender Tribal payoff. I love that. I, I've i always kind of wanted to make, like, a wall deck, because I thought it'd be funny. And there's, like, very few, historically, um, payoffs for Defender. So it's really cool seeing some extra ones. Uh, other than, like, you know, uh, your Defenders can attack and they assign damage based on their, their toughness. Like, sure, you can do that. I think that's boring. I think that's less interesting than, like, what this was. Um... But it kind of got really lucky. Like, if I didn't have that Argosy combo going on... Yeah. Um, I think I have... Well, I can do the Inscribed Tablet to get another land. So it's not the worst, actually. Turn one, turn two. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I'll keep. I will keep, actually. Ooh, and I got two planes? Oh, this is amazing. I will play the Inscribed Tablet. Hey, what you doing, Bear? What you doing? Sitting in the middle of the field? Um, we will, I believe, crack the tablet immediately. Which will let me find a swamp? It only looks at the top five cards of your library? Wow! It doesn't even let you search? That's really funny. Uh, I do want the swamp, yeah. I did not realize that it doesn't let you do that. Uh, and I'll play a Battlefly Swarm. Because it's just nice to have a 1-1 one, one flyer. That can sometimes have Death Touch. 
Okay. Cool. Um, this is an 03. Not big enough. If I can get an 04, I could block. Oh, I can play this guy. Ooh, I can play that guy. Alright. Uh, I could just kill this thing. But, like, wouldn't I rather save that for something, like, not as good? Or better? You know what I meant to say. Like, Aaron is not super useful right now, is the thing. Huh. I'm better off leaving my white mana open, probably. And then just threatening to death touch. Yeah, alright. Next to combat, no attacks, and turn. Then we can, at instant speed, use tribute to Urborg, uh, if I, you know, to, to spend that mana if I don't have any other use for it. I think that was a good play. And then we got a defender in play when our wing mana champ lane comes down. Keldon Strike Team, 3 mana 3 1. ETB created. Uh, oh, if only if it was kicked, and it was not. I don't think. Was it kicked? It was not. Okay. Uh, fast attacks. Interesting. I think I'm okay with this, actually. Uh, yeah, fast to blocks. One block. Great. Orborg is minus two, minus two. That'll clear the way. Love it. Okay. I don't have a land, but I do have this friend. Aaron is here! Very good. I mean, this is kind of like flying, right? <laughs> so yes, uh, once again, they can sack a creature to put counters on my other creatures. So if we can get the wing mantle jab playing combos, could be pretty good. Ooh, okay. That doesn't even enter tap, does it? I don't think it does. P momentum, not good enough. Put it on the bottom. Nice. I can just straight up play this now. That's rad. Do you have any counter spell? You have one blue available, so maybe. Hello? Opponent. Oh, there it is. It's not a counter spell, it's it's draw some cards. I guess if you draw like a one mana counter spell, you could you could play that, maybe. I don't think there are any right now in the format, so that's cool. Birds. I don't have the mana for this. Yeah, go. Oh, yes! Oh, this deck's so cool! <laughs> okay, that's fair. But not the scariest member of my team, I don't think. Uh, although I seem to be out of land. Uh... Huh. Right, I have no islands yet. Oh, I, wow, I didn't even realize that. I hadn't drawn anything that needed it. Uh, I can make this guy attack, which would be fun. Or this guy, whichever. Go! Very good. Very good. Oh, hello. What do you do? Soul Kanar, the Tainted. 5 mana, 5-5. Five, five. Beginning of your end step. Oh, cool. Nice. So, Artillery Blast is X damage, which is X is currently 3. Well, again, I don't think that's the scariest member of my team, so awesome. Glad to see you not prioritizing the targets I would prioritize. Okay, we got a swamp. And, um... If I attack into them and they block... I can't deal with their stuff. Yeah, I'll just wait for now. Um, beginning of your end step. So if they attack with this, 
I can block it and then kill it with um, artillery blast. So I think I'll just let them do that. No attacks. End turn. Artillery blast is currently three because I don't have an island yet. So I'll have to block it with both of these friends. Disappointingly. And honestly, they might very easily have something that can save it. There have been I've been run into so many combat tricks where it's like, cool, you thought I was gonna die? No. Here's plus one plus one, or here's hexproof, or here's plus one plus one and hexproof. Um What do you do? Looks like they were kicked, they're all shiny. Um ETB, if it was kicked, return a creature and opponent controls to their hand. Okay. Sure. It resolves. What are you going to target? That makes sense. I can't argue with that. That that just makes sense. Uh, well, in that case, I'm going to, I think... Oh, I didn't get the stun counter because I don't have the... Uh, well, actually, I could pay for it, couldn't I? Yeah, I'm going to do this. And I am going to kick it. No, what? Activate this. What? Why is it not working? Do I not have the mana for this? I don't understand. One, two, three, four. Oh, I, I apparently, apparently I don't have the mana for that. Apologies. All right. I thought I had the mana for that. I would need to, I would have needed six mana. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, pass your tax. Uh, sorry. Oops. There we go. Um, damage is not enough. It's only, you know, it's only three, and I can only do four. So I'll just let it through, I guess. No blocks. What have they not chosen yet? Each opponent loses two life, and you gain two life. Okay. It's fine. So, do you think they have a sacrifice, or what? I'm curious what they're going to do once it's uh, out of steam. The last mode is just drawing a card, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, other than exiling itself, of course. Well, I can do a regular stall for time, at least. Next. Uh, no attacks. Do I wanna... Yeah, I will attack, actually. They're going to be too scared of that death touch, probably. Sweet. Or they're going to be happy about it because they want to get rid of their 5-5. Five five, one or the other. I don't know which. Um, they probably don't want to give it to me. So, unless they have a plan, they might actually be super happy to trade into my my, my death touch. But they probably have a plan, right? Like, you don't run this guy without a plan, right? They might have a plan. They might not have drawn their plan. That's true. It's interesting. It has so many modes that... Legitimately, you can just drop this and you might just win before you have to give it back. Kicker. Uh, if it was kicked, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier. Sacrifice a creature, it gets plus 2, plus 1. Okay, cool. That's a pretty big board, honestly. Ah, uh, come on! Alright, fine. Fine. Disappointed by that. Um, yeah, I don't have a response. Alright. Yeah, I mean, maybe I do just kill, like, the amplifier or something. Not great, but what are you gonna do? Ooh, five damage is a lot of damage. So they're gonna draw a card. Next turn. Oh, can I cheat anything out? Oh, I can actually. That's interesting. All right, he's gonna save me. Put a card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. I do love doing that. Two two with death touch is pretty scary. Hmm. 
He loses three life. Yeah, I can't afford that. All right. Yeah, let's read ahead. Wait. What? Is there a limit to this? Oh, I was looking at my opponent's graveyard. Oh, interesting. I was like, why can't I find this? Because it's either graveyard. That's cool. I didn't realize that. No attacks. All right. Let's see if we can survive this. I got my death touch back. Do you have removal again? Very possibly, yes. <laughs> this is only the second game. This is amazing. <laughs> Okay. Can you get rid of my 1-1? One, one? It's unblockable. Wait, is it unblockable? Oh, I thought it made the thing unblockable. It makes target unable to block. Ah, oh, dang it. I should have just used stall for time. I should have just used stall for time. Turns out. Dang it. All right. That was a close game. That was good. That was a really good game, actually. Um, it wasn't as interesting as the first one, but that's okay. Uh, beautiful. Let's go. I have some cool cards I haven't drawn yet. All right. I'm one in one. Is that what people say? Do people say it that way? It sounds like a weird way of saying it now that I say it out loud. Okay. Once again, only two of my colors. But, uh, two of the most important colors, I think. Blue is, like, all my, like, shenanigans, which are great. But not as uh, necessary as bodies. Land of War Stalker, one mana, one one. Okay, cool. I can play this on turn one, so I will. Oh, when I got my Argosy, cool. I mean, the, the the likelihood that I'm going to actually get my Chaplain again, like I only have one of them in the deck, right? Um. Um. Do I just kill that? They're clearly willing to let it die, which means they're more scared of my death swarm than... That. Yeah, I will, I will not block. Okay. We'll play a planes. We will play this friend. Great. Um, do I want to attack? Yeah, I think I will. I think... I'm not really super worried about needing to be able to block something with Death Touch right now. And if I do, I, I've got Illa Zilkor. Um, interesting. Do you think they have a pump? Yeah, I think they do have a pump. No blocks. Cool. And they certainly probably didn't want to play it if they didn't have to. Power and toughness each equal to the number of creatures you control. Cool. I can take that out with Tribute to Urborg, which is nice. Or I could just stall for time. I think I'd rather kill it. When one or more creature tokens would enter the battlefield under control, plus one. Okay. So they need token generators for this to be relevant. But I think killing is the best play. While they're tapped out. Because I do think they have pump spells, so any, like, damage-based removal or, like, minus one, minus one-based removal is probably not good for me. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll attack with both. Why not? It's probably not reliable, I should say. Unless they're tapped out. Because I highly expect to see those, those pumps. Maybe I'm wrong? I don't know. Okay, they got Reach. And they've got um, uh, just being a 4-4. Four four. So I probably won't attack next turn so that they don't attack with their 4-4. Four four. Cool. Ooh, we got an island. That's nice. I Ooh. Ooh, it's very nice. Do I want to play the Argosy? I really want to see if they want to attack into me. And if they want to attack into me, then I'll want to have the mana to blow them out. So probably I don't. And I can always just use, like, Shore Up, or I can use Stall for Time. Yeah, I think we just pass here. No attacks, and turn. 
Now, I gotta make sure I do this correctly. They probably just won't attack, because why would you attack into two death touch? But, um, that's fine. If we pass two attacks, they get to tap, so it's, I can't do my stall for time, but I'm okay with that. I don't really mind if they want to attack into me. Okay, that's fine. Um, I think I will pass the blocks. I will block this. They will laugh at me, they'll pump their thing, and then I will do something as well. Okay, it gets plus two, plus two. If they kick it, also a one win counter. Oh, that's a lot, actually. So... Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one against Hexproof. If I put this on myself, then I will be a 3-3. Three, three, and we'll just trade. If I put it on them... Yeah, that's stupid. It's, it's, it's dumb, but it's actually, I think, the best thing to do. It's target creature you control! Ah, dang it. Is this worthwhile? I'll get to kill their thing, I guess. No, they'll be a 4-4, four, four, and you'll be a 3-3. Three, three. Dang, you're right, though. But I'll still kill with Death Touch. Oh, right, yeah, we're killing with Death Touch anyway. All right, cool. Resolves. That sucks, but what you gonna do? Pass. Yep. It still dies. They have a 5-5. Five, five. I've got a Death Touch with Flying. I'm fine. This is, this is fine. Not as good as we'd like, but fine. Um... Do I want the Argosi? I think the Argosi is only really good in specific decks, so I'm gonna pass on the Argosi. I'm just gonna play a second Battlefly. I will attack with my first Battlefly, and then they won't block it, because that would be silly of them. And then, uh, I have the other one to block with now, so that's great. This is very good. We Everything is fine. It actually is fine. So green, white, do you think they're a third color or not? Pass to attacks? Yeah, I understand that I'm threatening you with, uh... Dang, this hand's not working for me, unfortunately. Uh, I will simply pass again after attacking with one of my Battleflies. Well, at least I'm doing consistent small chunks of damage. The clock is real. But, uh, I need a land, so... If I have a land, I could use Curse of, uh, uh, Cruelty of Gix to really... Do some fun stuff. Interesting. Okay, yeah, that resolves. Pass two attacks. Of course you're not going to attack me. That would be ridiculous. Cool. Go to my turn. Oh. Well, that's a land. It's not what I want to be doing with my mana. Hey, don't spend my black mana. Come on. Look, I know you think that I want to spend that mana because I have other, like, cards in my hand, but I'd really rather not. And, um, I guess I'll take a planes. Yeah, I have a lot of things I care about planes. Okay, put that over there. And I will move to tax. This can enlist. So they're only going to be attacking with one thing anyway, probably. I'll attack with one. Go. Next to blocks. I have two black sources, so it's fine. Next to damage. Boom. And my turn. Let's see if they enlist or not. They probably don't, right? They might. Because it would cost me one of my battle flies and they'd still have their 5-5. Five five. So that's kind of cool, actually. It's interesting seeing the use cases. Like, they're not super obvious, so... Yeah, there it is, right? It's gonna cost me one of my, my two death touch. That's That's fun. I think that's a really fun use case of Enlist. It resolves. I will pay. Pass the blocks. I'll blocks. There we go. Does this have Trample? No, it doesn't. It says Vigilance. Great. I still have one of my Battleflies. I'm feeling fine. Ooh, it's Glyphorous Vine Wall. I know this one. Because it's a Defender. <laughs> But it's not the it's not in the colors I'm playing, so. Interesting, interesting. Uh my turn. Okay, what do we do? Now, if I play the cruelty of Gix, I won't be able to use my Battlefly Swarm to defend against the 5-5. Five five.
Target opponent reveals their hand. I choose a creature or planeswalker card from it. You know, I kind of just want to know what's in your hand anyway. Search library for a card, put it in your hand. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the uh I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the full saga today. Submit. Starting at chapter one. Myra's Outrider is scary. What's this do? Oh, it's Squee. Squee's probably the scarier thing, but it's discarded, right? Can't you, like, play this from your graveyard? Yeah, we'll get rid of Myra's Outrider instead. Uh, I will... I think I'll attack, because I can't actually block you this turn. Yeah, I'll attack. I'm just... I'm willing to take five, I guess is what I'm saying here. I'm saying I'm willing to take five right now. There's Squee. I'll have to double-check how Squee works. They have haste. Okay, I guess I should have known that was going to happen. I didn't bother reading Squee. They're 2-2 with haste. They cost 3. Uh, whenever they attack, you create a goblin. Hello. Um, oh, dang. I don't know what I want. I do have a board wipe, actually. But, but it gives, like, bodies afterwards, doesn't it? <laughs> so I just play Zer. Um, wow, what do I actually want here? Just a 3-2 flyer? I mean, maybe. I think the correct answer is phasing of Zalfir. As annoying as that seems. I think that's correct. Um, cool. I will play a plant. I will... I probably I'll stall for time, honestly. If I'm to be completely honest. I don't have two blue sources. Oh no, I didn't think about that. That's not good. I need you for defending. I'll tap out you. This costs five. Yeah, next. I'm not, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna attack. No attacks. End turn. Resolute reinforcements is a two mana flash. Uh ETV create a one one soldier. Okay, so you're like a Toka deck, that's cool. I'm into that. Yep, it resolves. That is scary. Um, and honestly, you're gonna get a better board than I am because of the, um, the, 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 yeah, the two twos. This is bad for me. I actually don't want the, to play this. I tutored the wrong thing, and I'm sad. Um, great. Let's uh, let's not go to attackers. I'm actually gonna play stall for time because I need to stall for time. Uh, you're gonna get tapped down, and you're gonna get tapped down. Would they have attacked anyway with my, my Battlefly Swarm here? I don't know, but whatever. Path to attacks. Yeah, they probably were only going to attack with their tokens anyway, now that I think about it. One, two, three. I actually have to deal with this, don't I? Unfortunately. That's... I did not realize. I'm super dead. All right. Because they might have had a pump spell, right? They, I, I, I can't say for sure if they did or didn't. All right, I get to put something directly into the battlefield. 4-4 four, four with Domain. ETB, it deals damage to each opponent equal to the number of basic land types on they control. That's not good enough. But it is a 4-4. Four, four. Um, is this a 5-5 five, five right now? No, it's not. That's a lie. It's looking at their own stuff because it's in their, battle, their, their graveyard. My graveyard, on the other hand, I could pull out another Battlefly. It's not good enough. Uh, we'll, we'll pull out the 4-4, I guess. That sucks. <sighs> Alright. These are still tapped down, so that's nice. Other than that, I can play an Illusionist. Normal. I can play this guy. And then I can tap down again next time. I'm still in this. I'm definitely still in this. Oh, I'm not in this anymore. Okay, GG. <laughs> I'm definitely still in this. Just three damage to the face. Yeah, that'll do it. That will do it. All right, that's two losses. That's two losses and one win. I would really like to win this one. I probably could, like, curate my deck at this point, actually, because it's, it's not a great deck, which means I have some data and I could actually maybe make it good. Um, but it's too late for that now, isn't it? <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
That's a lot of land and not many planes. But I do have a flyer, so. Please don't ask me if I want to kick it. I can't kick it. I guess it has to ask you. Because who knows, they might have a source of mana that I'm not aware of. Or that the computer's not aware of. Ooh, we both have fish. Uh, to be clear, the reason why this is in the deck is because, like, the kicking doesn't even really do anything. It just makes it bigger. I'd rather a 1-mana one 1-1 one, one flyer than a 5-mana uh, 3-3 three, three flyer most of the time. Not all of the time. Ooh, are they going to go Defender Tribal on me? Ooh, that'd be so much fun. I would love to see that. So if I get a single Planes, I can actually use my Pixie Illusionist to make a second Planes. But I need a for one. I need one in the first place. Uh, yeah, I'll attack. You're a defender. You can't do anything to me. Brexing the sector. Oh, interesting. Ooh, I got the coral colony. That's fun. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just keep playing. That's very fun. Next to combat, I'll attack, go. Nice, how's this one work again? Uh, whenever a creature you control dies, scry one. Okay, it's fine. It probably would have been decent in this deck, but like, not necessary. It's just kind of a, like a little bit of a perk. Still, it's a two mana two two. Cleaving Sky Rider, three mana two two. This is Flash. Not that they took advantage of that. Um, deal damage to any target where X is... Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Hey, I got a Planes! Um, do I want to play the Argosi, or do I want to play... I think I want to play Aaron. So we're going to actually tap this to turn this into a Planes. And, uh, play Aaron. Island, basic land, planes. Very good. I didn't actually realize you could use it to, like, <laughs> change the color of your opponent's lands. That's really funny. Or the type, I should say. I did not realize that that was an interaction that was... Maybe it's not. Maybe it says your land. I didn't even check. Yeah, it says you control. Never mind. What I meant was I didn't realize, like, it doesn't add the type. It just... It changes the type. Um... I think Pixie Illusion is a really cool card, especially with Domain in the thing. You could be running a three-color deck and then Domain one of your things into, like, a mountain just to, like, get an extra Domain. Did I see Domain into? You know what I meant. They've got open mana, so it's a very good chance that they're actually going to, like, mess me up right now. So... Like, you wouldn't make this attack if you weren't going to win this. Yeah, I'm going to not block. Do your four damage. Valduvian Atrocity. Menace was not kicked. It's just a 2-3. Cool. That's fun. I like that. I will put a second island down. I can now do this for full value. Could be fun. Um, yeah, I feel like Ar the Argosi is really good if you have something that cares about ETB. And currently I don't, so... It's not really good. It's fine. Um, great. I'm going to move to combat. I'm going to just uh, attack with you. Wait, I guess they can double block me. I didn't realize they could do that. Oh, they could. Totally. Not, like, effectively, though. So that's fun. And I think I'll just let that go through. Uh, you refused to block them because you were afraid they had tricks, but now you're not afraid they're going to have tricks during blocking? Well, they tapped out. Oh, that's true. They didn't spend their mana. Good point. Alright, I will end my turn. Oh, how much does it cost? Hmm. 
So do I want to tap anything down right now? I can't really deal with their 2-2. Two -two. Their 2-3 two is also annoying. And I get to draw a card. That's fun. Great. Ooh, drawbridge. Nice. I'll pass two attacks. Okay. Uh, you know what? I want to see what they've got. So I'm going to actually block it this time. What do you have? What... Are you going to give a death touch? Are you going to... What do you do? What, 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 what trick do you have? Take up the shield. Plus one, plus one. Okay, lifelink's nice, I guess. It's not super useful, but sure. Do you have another trick, or... Okay. That doesn't... It can still block while tapped. Why did you do that? My turn. I don't follow the logic. That's okay. I'm gonna play a swamp. I'm gonna play a drawbridge. And, um. Sure, let's play the Argosi. Vroom, vroom. We got a boat. These two are tapped down. This guy does have a counter, so they're actually big now, which is a little scary. Um, otherwise, I think I'm just gonna attack, though. Yeah. Next two attacks. Kaha! I will win this race. Hopefully. I don't know. Uh, remember, you can actually tap down, like, this guy to crew your Golden Argosy. So I might be able to scare them with that. Or, like, surprise them with that, I guess I should say. Uh, if it was kicked, each player sacks a creature. Okay. That's fine. You think I don't mind sacking a creature? Oh, yeah, resolve. I will sacrifice. Hmm, who do I choose? So you've got a bird, and I can't really deal with it if I let my bird die. But I don't really want to sack anything else, so I guess it's the bird. Cool. You said it, it just sacked itself? Interesting. I think it came out on top on that. Spent three man on a three one. I spent one man on a one one. Then again, still don't have a flyer, so maybe not. But I can like clockwork drawbridge their birds so they can't attack with it consistently if I need to. It's expensive, but you know it's something. Fast two attacks. You know what you should have done. What's that? Well, I was going to say you should have crewed your uh, Argosi, but that wouldn't have actually worked because of reasons. You're so right. Cool. Did you expect that? Probably not! Ha <laughs> ha! Scoop and shame! Very good. Alright. Part of me does want to, like, make this deck better, because it's, like, it's close to being decent. Uh... <laughs> Like, there's some fat I could trim from this deck, but... I mean, I don't, I don't like changing my deck partway through. It feels less like... Like this deck won, you know what I mean? When it's like, well, I changed it, actually. I hope I get at least three wins, but... If I if I end here, that's, that's fine. I still got two. Not terrible rate. Uh, only two lands, but they are enough to play the... Vohar, which Vohar is really good at like helping you get everything else. Ooh, ooh, we can actually do it. Yeah, let's assemble the Titans. <laughs> I'm keeping this hand. That's so funny. Um, my best play, I think, is a swamp. Go ahead. Hello. Great. I will play an island. I will play Vohar. Now, unfortunately, I'm going to have to tap Vohar on my turn unless I top deck a land. If I top deck a land, then great. If I don't top deck a land, I'm going to want to play it on my turn so that I could potentially draw into a land and not miss my land drop, so. 
That's a shame, but not a big deal. All right, cool. So I'm just gonna immediately use this. Um, I'm not sure how good Impede Momentum is. It was not a land anyway. There you have it. Uh, Impede Momentum at least is charging up Urborg, so that's something. Target Creature, three Stun Towners. That's pretty nice. Like, for two mana, I can put three Stun Counters on something, whereas this thing is two creatures with one each for five? Usually there's, like, one big... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get rid of Save Stall for time. I think it, it, maybe it's the wrong call, but I think that's interesting. Also, I just I haven't really used Impede Momentum yet, so I, I, I want to. <laughs> Bad reasons for things, but you know what? I'm here to have fun. Did not get a land. I'm tapped down now. Boo-hoo. All right. Well played. Sure. Hopefully this game will end before the ads run. If the ads are running, uh, apologies for being interrupted. Uh, but at least, you know, they're not going up on YouTube, so it's not a huge deal. I don't have land. Oh, this is bad. This is not good for me. Now, at least I'm going to have a little bit of fixing. So I can play Ilkor next turn by, um, by tapping my Pixie and making this island into a Plains. So that's nice. I, I really like the Pixie Illusionist. It's not the flashiest card, but it's really, really nice. It's just like clean, simple design. Mm, love it. Well, to be honest, it's a kind of a complicated design. But it's a one mana, one one that lets you fix your mana. Yeah. It's great. So I will do that. I will tap you to turn this into a planes. And uh, I'll play Ilkor. Dang it. All right. Goodbye, Ilkor. Playing against blue white, huh? Very cool. Ooh, flyers. Yeah. I'm gonna kill that, I think. I know you get to draw from it, which is like lovely for you, but I can't deal with a 3 2 flyer. <laughs> like, legit, I just can't. 3 2 flyers are terrifying. Might as well attack. No reason not to. Okay, it's a 2-1 flyer. I can deal with a 2-1 flyer. Ooh, I can definitely deal with a 2-1 flyer now. Yeah, I'm really happy about including the battle fly swarms. It's just like, it's nice to be able to deal with flying. It's nice to be able to threaten death touch. Like, it's great. Super good and great. Love it. Uh, whenever this deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. As long as this creature... Okay, so why are you doing that? Are you planning on it being able to hit face somehow? I'll block. I have a feeling like you're going to do some shenanigans, but it's still not going to hit face, so... I don't know what your plan is. Yeah, okay. Lifelink's nice, I guess. Cool. Hey, we got a land! Nice! Uh, do we want to just tap it down with stun counters? It's sorcery. Interesting. I knew it was sorcery, but it, it's interesting how it, like, is impacted by that. Uh, I can no longer fix my lands, which is a big deal. I can't, like, blast it or anything. That's a shame. Yeah, it's the time when I draw, like, Assemble the Titans, I do not have any land draw. <laughs> it's really bad. Uh, I think I just wait. Like, I'm not super concerned with this. I can block it with my Battlefly. Let's see what they do first. No attacks. Enter. 
They're probably just going to kill my fly, right? Probably. Which is fine. I take three damage. They heal three. It's not a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. It's kind of a big deal. Ooh, hello. Tap for green. Sure. Draw two cards. It was not kicked. Okay. Great. It, I wish the UI on that was better. Like, they gray out the word kicker. Like, gray out the text that cares about being kicked. That's way more important. <laughs> okay. They're gonna stun me. Oh, that's very cute. That's cool. Uh, yeah, results. I will impede their momentum next turn. Yeah, I should have impeded their momentum in the first place. I knew I should have. Did it in, didn't do it anyway. Oh, they get to draw cards, don't they? Alright, uh, my turn. Ooh, hello. Let's go Crystal Grove. I still don't have a Plains, but that's fine. Do I want a second Illusionist? Uh, I would really, it would, I mean, it would help my mana fixing. But not enough, you know? Yeah, I think I don't bother. I still have the Battlefly Swarm. I don't really need it. Um. Oh yeah, I can make any color now by uh, by filtering. That's fun. Screw it. Yeah, let's do that. Great. Uh, next. Enter. Sweet. Okay, cool. I'm feeling good. They've got a full grip. My stuff's tapped down. So not doing, like, amazing, but uh, how much did they pay for this? Like, if... <laughs> Oh, wow, just, like, full five, six mana for a 4-4 four, four Vigilance. It's not terrible, honestly. That's, like, a perfectly reasonable price. My turn. Okay. We got another Battlefly Swarm. That's fun. I think I'll just tap you down again, though, because... Yeah, a 4-4 four, four with Vigilance seems brutal. Uh, planes? I need that planes. Done. Stay on top. Great, I will play a Battlefly Swarm. Here we go. Yeah, filtering! I knew I put you in the deck for a reason. Nice. Runic Shot, two damage. Oh, destroy target creature. Okay. Dang. Holy crap. How does Runic... Okay, it's uncommon. Okay, that, I guess that makes sense. Because I'm like, Runic Shot is just better than this. <laughs> like, this is two mana and only does damage, and it's variable damage, and then this is one mana and it just kills it? They both require it to be tapped. Like, originally I didn't realize that Artillery Blast needed it to be a tapped creature, because that seems like the kind of restriction you'd put on a kill spell. It's so weird. All right, we play a planes. Is it time? I wouldn't have any black mana left if I did this. Oh, I would. No, I wouldn't. I only have one swamp. Uh, I could also play the Argovian or the Golden Argosi, which isn't like super relevant, but eh. This has enlist. I'll play the 3-3. Three, three. Cool. I don't see myself blocking with my Battlefly this turn, so let's attack with it. Might as well. Okay. That MP momentum is brutal. <laughs> That's a long time to be tapped down. I like it. It's a cool design. Wrath! An actual rare? I feel like I haven't seen... Oh, this isn't rare. This is uncommon. Uh, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may tap two untapped creatures you, you you control. Oh! If you do draw a card. Wow, that's, like, bad, huh? I guess if you have, like, tokens you don't care about, like, um... I remember a while back when Decay was new, people were talking about, like, the reason Decay is interesting is because you can, uh, you know... 
Uh, no, I'll let the three through. That's fine. No damage. No blocks, I mean, sorry. Yes, damage. Okay. Not happy about that. I mean, yeah, I need a tablet. That's 100% correct. Dang, how much damage are we looking at? Two, three, four, five, six damage. I can spend a black to kill something, or I can just block this guy, I guess. Yeah, I think I just keep my, my stuff back. Um, do you want a second? Yeah, if you want a second white so that you can uh, use Urza's assembles the stuff. Urza assembles the stuff? Yeah. I keep forgetting that that's not, like, search your library. That's so weird that it's not search your library. It's bizarre. Uh, I need the one black mana so I can actually pay for Battlefly Swarm, so we're just gonna pass. No attacks. I feel like they've got some shenanigans in their hand, so that's fun. Either that or they're on board tricks. Yeah, so no more stun counters, but it's still tapped. Cool. I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. <laughs> That's really scary. Well, you're going to assemble the Titans, obviously. Okay, let's actually read this card. If the Planeswalker put in your hand. That's not going to happen. We're going to skip that one. You may put a Planeswalker on the battlefield. That's what we're going to do. Okay. And then that's going to be this one, and I can... I don't know what they do either. For five mana, plus... Oh! Did you know they had that ability? I didn't know they had that ability. That's scary. I should have read the whole card. Alright, um... Choose target creature and opponent controls. Whenever you attack this turn, deal damage equal to the number of attacking creatures to that creature. Huh. Interesting. Alright, pass your attacks. Okay. Okay. Are you going to enlist anybody or just make more attacks? Probably just making more attacks is better here, I would think. Okay. Great. Resolves. All right, um, I'm going to activate this ability to give myself Death Touch. Great. Then I'm going to move to blocks, I, and I will actually basically lose my whole board. So, you know, not good. I wouldn't call this a good thing. How are you going to save your board? Do you have another one of those shield spells that makes things indestructible? Yeah, that would do it. Are you going to tap your vigilant creatures? Because that's really clever, honestly. Yeah, that's very cool. Alright, uh, plus one, plus one. I can't deal with that. Well, I could technically. I could technically kill my Battlefly Swarm. To then kill this guy. Is that better? I think, the, I think the bird is scarier. Yeah, the cavalier is definitely scarier. Disappointing, but what you gonna do? I play an island. <laughs> Am I just guaranteed dead next turn? So they can activate this ability. Technically, they can activate as many times as they can afford, but I, they can only afford it once. This will attack me for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage. So I'm not guaranteed dead. Let's assemble some Titans. I will start at tier 2. <laughs> Didn't see this coming, did ya? <laughs> of course you should fight fire with fire. You should fight everything with fire. <sighs> That's so stupid. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, let's get a creature. <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> Impress me. Uh, 
<laughs> well, I got to do it at least once before I lost, like, flunked out of the draft. <laughs> That's all I really wanted, let's be honest. Alright, what are they doing? Yeah. Great. Uh-huh. And? Are you gonna kill Jaya? <laughs> so dumb. Combat research. Okay, sure. I mean, the odds of this thing doing combat damage seem really low. I don't know why you would do that, but okay. You know, five mana well spent. <laughs> it's absolutely horrible. So funny. Um, is everyone attacking this guy? I can't tell. You're attacking me. Okay. So if I block you, I don't take five damage to the face. If I block you, Jaya survives. Which is cool, I guess. And I can activate abilities multiple times. That's fun. I mean, I feel like I gotta. I gotta I gotta let Jaya survive, right? It's important, just because. Go ahead, draw your card. That all you got? Uh <laughs> the game is not to win anymore. It's just to have like this do its thing. Yeah, let's go! I'm gonna make a bunch of five mana for three one ones. <laughs> I mean, or I could exile the top two cards in my library. Choose one of them. You may play that card this turn. Let's start with that. I want to see if that would save me. So, minus one to exile top card of my library. Top two cards. They are... Ooh. Zur is useful. Stall for time is also useful. Mmm. Stall for time I think might actually save me, so let's take Stall for time. Uh, that would cost me a lot of mana. Do I... Would I rather a 1-1... One, one? Or another stall for time. Or like another car at the top. I don't think I have enough mana. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will cost me five of eight. So I'd have I could do a three mana spell. Sure, let's do it. Let's do another minus one. Chaplain's so cool, I can't afford it. Defender is perfect. So we play the defender. I can only play this till the end of turn, so I'm definitely playing it this turn. Wait, that's only four? Did I do my math wrong? I did my math wrong! No! Dang it! Why does this keep happening to me? Crap! <laughs> what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I keep thinking this costs four. It costs five. To full oh, 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 I have a swap in my hand. I knew I counted right. All right, get wrecked, everybody. Thought I counted wrong. Uh, you. Tap you down. Get tapped. Ooh. Now, again, we talked about this. This doesn't actually board wipe because they're going to get a bunch of tutus. Which, I mean, I'd rather a bunch of tutus, I guess, but... Uh, still not great. Still not great. And I would have rather play Stall for Time after they'd untapped, but, you know, I can only play it till the end of the turn, so. I'm sorry, does this give you Hexproof? Oh, because you're legendary! I forgot about that, cool. Now you can tell everyone you beat the Jaya Ballad. Alright, so if I cast Phasing of Zalfir. Uh, their, all their things are going to become 2-2s, two which is a vast improvement, but also, uh, not something I could deal with. <laughs> so, I 
think I lose very handily. Uh huh. I do have enough mana to cast both these. That's something, I guess. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Woo! At least I get to play all my like I get to use my toys. You know, that's what I'm really here for. Boom! Five tutus. I'm so dead. <laughs> uh, GG. <laughs> GG. Uh. <laughs> Brutal. Brutal entirely. Ugh. Well, that brings us over time. In fact, there's probably ads running on the live stream right now because they're automated. Um, for those of you who are still here, uh, <laughs> thanks for joining me as I play actual magic on Magic Arena. Uh, Dominar United Draft. I did not get to go full Defender Tribal, but oh, it looks so good. I I only got to win two games. Not great, but but I did get to use all the cool, stupid ideas that were in the deck. I got to do a really cool um, Chaplain combo, which was the one time I won, to be fair. Uh, if I got that combo again, that would have been fun, but oh well. Ah. Uh. Really good. Have a good night, everyone. I've been Darcy Bits. This has been Magic Arena, Dominary United. Have a good night, everybody. I'll catch you next time.